slab of maple that I cut into a round. I'm just holding it in between centers for now and trying to true it up with a round nose scraper. things here. Mainly I'm forming a tenon on the bottom side of this and I'm also shaping the outside and this will be facing down when it's all assembled. is turned around and held in my chuck. I'm going to start to shape the outside of this and just start bringing it around. This will be the top of the flying saucer and again I'm just using a round nose scraper. Try to secure these pieces of bark in here because I think that'll look kind of cool. I'm just gonna try to hold them in with some CA glue. Spritz activator. Now I'm going to let this sit for a little while. Even though I just sprayed it with activator, the inside is still kind of sticky, so I don't really like turning CA right away after I've sprayed with activator. I like to make sure it's completely cured up because that'll really gum up the end of your tool. a mortise on the top of this so that I can glue in a separate piece of wood that will be turned down to fit in there. Sanding this up now. This piece is done. I started sanding at 150 grit and I went all the way up to 800. And all I want to 
want to do here is bring this to the size of this, just so I can glue it in, and I, that, I can just screw up the front side of it later and put this back in my truck. CA on the one part of this and sprayed the other with activator so that when I put it together they'll bond right away. After that I put the whole thing back in my chuck and rounded off the top piece. That'll be the dome of the flying saucer and I just sanded it again from 150 to 800. Clean up the bottom tenon part of this. I have a concave jam chuck kind of thing for this to seat in. And I'm just gonna put some of this uh, drawer liner kind of thing in there. I'll bring up my tailstock to the center point on the bottom of the tenon. Here I'm drilling out some holes for the legs of this thing to go in and this was actually pretty tricky and I set up this really crude jig, just two blocks clamped down, I positioned the whole piece in between them and clamped the whole piece down and I ended up going back and drilling them closer to the center because they just didn't look right uh, that far on the edge. I actually forgot to film turning the legs for it. It was just really simple spindle turning and once I glued them in place I finished up with a couple coats of a spray spar urethane and that's it. I think it came out really good. This is definitely a fun project and I think it's not that hard. I mean the trickiest part is just drilling out those holes. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next Friday.